To whom is given, much is required. This is their work. Can I have an amen? North, next slide. North Korea does whatever Kim Jong Un wants. The Thets build idols and then worship it. They'll do it. The Thets murder their brothers. They'll do that. So, if it tells them to sin, then they'll do that sin. So that's pretty much every sin in the book right there. Iraq has terrorist murders, and I don't really say any more right there. And China bans the Bible. This is the one way of use to study God nowadays, without looking through, going through Greece to get a scroll. So if you don't have the Bible in your life, that can be a big issue. And if that's banned in your country, that is not good. In Russia, there's so much war and murders right in their own government. But don't even get me started about America. The rich take from the poor. America buys sweatshop labor products. Next slide. And pays expensive prices for it. These are the fate and shoes that got made by Nike in a sweatshop. These are what people are getting forced to get into their jobs with very poor conditions to make. And they don't make much money off making these shoes either. And it's so mind boggling how people can treat people. After going to the Civil Rights Museum, I still realize that half that stuff goes on still today. And uh, they don't even get much pay for it and they have nowhere else to go so they're forced to work here so they can survive through China's government because it's so expensive to live there. Now, what I mean by when we pay expensive price for it, these shoes are $4,000. $4,000. And they're Satan shoes. I mean, people will pay $4,000 for that. Something's not right in their mind. And there's hypocritical worship and uh, has false prophets and even kills babies with abortion. Has sexual immorality. Next slide. And pornography through their websites and phones. Now, here's the link, by the way, so it's not my work, but uh, every second, 28,258,000 2, users are watching pornography on the internet. Every second. And then every day, 37 pornographic videos are created only in the United States. And 6 million searches, search queries related to pornography. That is so mind-boggling that America struggles with that so much and that they have all this horrible stuff on their websites and it's free access too. And they don't even think there's consequences to their sin. These are the people that they'll go to church on every Sunday or Wednesday, or they'll go to church some Wednesdays and some Wednesday. So they'll put on a fake face and walk to church. But they're not even going to the church. They're just going to the meeting house. They're not really participating in the church. They're just in the back corner of the pew on their phones, not singing, not listening to the preacher, not participating in worship. I mean, if you're not gonna, if you're gonna go to church, not listen to get more holy, it's pretty much just wasting your time there, unless there's someone to come up and talk to you. Or, but you're just wasting your time if you're doing not, nothing but being on your phone in the back pew, with, with not listening to any of the preachers, not participating in singing, not listening to God. So why do they go then? Well. So they think that they they believe that they're going to heaven, so they can bribe God, so they can well try to bribe God. He knows all, so I mean it's pretty much impossible for God to fall into it. Not pretty much; it is impossible for God to fall into that. And uh, they'll uh, and they'll also they just believe that they can go into heaven and that they believe that they can be good people or they get other people to think that they're good people. But in their case, they're not listening to the preacher. They're not, they don't know anything about the Bible. They can't even 
quote Genesis 1 1. God created the heavens and the earth. Simple. So America today reminds me of Israel back when it was divided into the north and the south. And both sides were horrible and the Syrians dictated everywhere. Now, for time wise, I don't have enough time to read all of chapter 1. But I'm going to read through it and tell you what happens. Damascus got set fire. Gaza got set fire. Edom gets set fire. Ammon gets set fire. Moab gets set fire. And Judah, guess what? They got set fire too. Now the folks over here like, we're all good, right? Yeah, rejoice. We're all happy and good. Right, God? Well, we'll help triumph over our enemies with you, right? But the thing is, they were actually the worst of all because they did hypocritical worship, took it from the poor and committed sexual morality, sold the poor for a pair of sandals. And you might say, well, that's not overkill, ripping pregnant women apart or stealing people alive. But the difference is, Israel knew better. However, the Gentiles didn't. Now I'm going to read through Amos 2, 6 through 8. And it says, Thus says the Lord, For the three transgressions of Israel, and for four, I will not turn away its punishment. Because they sell the righteous for silver, and the poor for a pair of sandals, they pant after the dust on the earth, which is one of the, which is on the head of the poor, and pervert the way of the humble. A man and his father go into the same girl to defile my holy name. They lie down by every altar, on clothes and take in pledge, and drink the wine condemned in the house of God. So, I was saying, no, Israel, you're actually the worst of all. Because, you know when, uh, the one time we did something that we knew we weren't supposed to, and your mom goes, boy, you ought to know better than that. Yeah, it's kind of what God's doing here with Israel, and punishing them even more, because they knew what was right, and what was wrong, they just chose to do the wrong. And real quick, if you're gonna sin and if you're gonna know that there's God in sin, you'd rather be in a dark, fiery hell and painful with Satan and sin than be up with heaven with no tears, no sorrow, and certainly no sin with God. That's pretty much what you're saying. Every time you know, I mean, sometimes we sin naturally out of cause or reflex, but we don't. If we know that we shouldn't do this, then we shouldn't do that. But this isn't all bad news. There is a hope. God is a loving God, and he definitely showed that with his son, Jesus Christ, dying on the cross for all our sins. And he gave us a chance in heaven to be with him. And uh, he also, he's just raising us like as if we were his kids. He is a just God. He loves us. He's more of a loving God than he is the wrathful. But he can be a wrathful God when we're bad. Like we all know our parents love us. And uh, we all know that they also like to punish us sometimes too, right? Whether they had a bad day with work or, or it's half time it's just us who do some very stupid things. Well, not half the time, about 90% of the time. So, if we go back to America situation, I don't wanna start any conspiracies, but I think God is trying to tell us something. With the Star of Bethlehem, COVID, California burning and locusts and all coming up. I think God's trying to tell us something. Hey, we, hey, straighten up or else you're going to end up like Israel, except our punishment will be a lot worse than this. And in hell, which is an eternal place of pain and torture and burning from God. So to avoid the fate of Israel, we should. Listen to God, or are we gonna end up like Israel? To avoid the fate of Israel, are we gonna listen? Are we gonna listen to God? Are we gonna end up like Israel? 
Now, to avoid the payday rule, when you go to church on Sunday, sing with your heart. Pray with your heart. Most importantly, love God with your heart by the way you may be saved.